before. And then now, two Balkan states, North Macedonia and Albania, are hoping to become the newest members of the European Union, with talks over their possible accession due later this year. But North Macedonia's membership bid has stalled over a decades-long dispute about the country's name. EU member Greece long feared that the country of Macedonia could claim a Greek province of the same name. But last year, the two countries struck a deal. They agreed that the Republic be named North Macedonia, paving the way effectively for its membership of the EU and NATO. The countries also stepped up its fight against crime and corruption, something that the EU has praised. All right, and with me here in the studio is Steve Oa Penderovsky, a president of North Macedonia. And uh, Mr. President, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome. Thank you for being with us here on DW News. Let's get straight to the core of the issue, that of uh, EU uh, membership. Um, what kind of role does your country want to play in the European Union? First of all, we would like to be in the European Union for our future. So we are a small country with a very poor resources. And certainly, we cannot be, once being in the European Union, we cannot be the key stakeholder there. But we would like to go through that process of Europeanization, and that's the reason why we need the so-called external evaluator from Brussels, going through all of these 35 chapters in order to better the lives of our citizens and to have more sound institutions than we have at the moment. But there's been a stumbling block, uh, to say the least. Of course, some EU member states, most notably France, Germany, and the Netherlands, have said, back off a little bit because we need some more time. In October, we'll let you know. Um, do you expect them to give you the green light or to hold off talks on a session? We expect 100% that we are going to be given a green light. You know why? Because at the moment, there is no any single government of the EU member states saying that North Macedonia does not deserve to start and to open these negotiation talks. So that's 100% sure. We got assurances by our friends in Berlin, by Germany. We have uh, clear assurances by France and we have clear, so to say, by Holland and Denmark, few of the countries which have some kind of remarks last year when European Union got to that conclusion to have North Macedonia and Albania going to be decided next June after the Euro elections are closed. So we are quite sure that September, German Bundestag will take that decision and even immediately after that in Brussels, all EU member states will vote for opening the negotiations with us. What I'm wondering, though, is like everything in life, timing is everything. Um, the countries which joined the bloc back in 2004 and 2007, they are at loggerheads, some of them, with the European Commission to do with rule of law, to do with not effectively fighting uh, corruption. Is that making the challenge for North Macedonia so much more difficult? You know, we wouldn't like to be the collateral damages of some eventual past bad performances. Being in the European Union, if they not performed well, that's up to those countries. What we are asking for from our European Union friends, judge us on individual merits. You ask for this, we have delivered. Last June, you have asked for a few of the remaining preconditions we have delivered, including the famous and our historic, I would say, press by agreement. So please judge us on our individual achievements in the meantime. So. I, I can agree that some of the newcomers in the European Union in the past decade has not performed quite well. But that's up to these countries. You cannot judge North Macedonia together with, I don't know, with five, ten other countries, including our direct neighbors. Just judge us, as I said, on our individual achievements, and that's all we are asking for. Mr. President, do you feel that North Macedonia is not getting a fair shake by the EU? Yes. Yes, that is the feeling among our people, and uh, we think that that should be amended somehow in the months to come, because we have been promised, I mean, North Macedonia and Albania, on the last EU summit in Sofia, there was a clear sentence in the final communique from that summit, saying that North Macedonia and Albania are going to get date for an opening negotiations. In June 2019, we are again postponed. What's good in all of that, that, that is only a technical postponement. But believe me, I have difficulties, and many other people around me being now currently in power in Skopje, to explain to the common people that it is really only a technical postponement. If you don't get the green light in October, what would that mean for your government, for Ma North undermining, Macedonia? Undermining, serious undermining of the pro-European forces. All Europhiles are going to be put in the corner. I'm not speaking about who is going to be the winner of the next parliamentary elections. I'm at the very beginning of my term as the president of the country, so I can put aside that political ambitions at least for a while. But it's very important 
for the region as a whole, is, if you like. Finally, Brussels to send a positive signal to the whole of the region. Because whenever each country of the Western Balkan re region being for so long sidelined by the Europeans, and getting a positive message, that that's the good positive message for the region as a whole. So what we are waiting for is give us the chance to improve ourselves through this very long and very strenuous process of Europeanization. We are not asking in October for the full-fledged membership. We are asking for the fair chance to start that very long process, as I said. And that's not too much, I think, to ask from the Europeans. In conclusion, Mr. President, now it just so happens that in October, uh, that date coincides with the United Kingdom scheduling, uh, scheduled is to leave the EU. Uh, London has been, of course, an ally when it comes to enlargement of the European Union. How much has them leaving the bloc hurt your bid? We would like to see UK staying in the European Union, if you like, if you're asking me and the people around me and all people in North Macedonia, because we know that UK has been one of the most dynamic power behind the Euro, behind the European integration. But if they're leaving, I think that we still have enough of Europhiles in Brussels, including the people from the complete political elite in Germany, so we still count on them. And we know that they're not going to forego the regional Western Balkans. Okay, Mr. President, thank you so much thank for you. joining DW News. Steve Opadorovsky, President of North Macedonia.